How's it going ladies and gentlemen, my name is Blackin, or Blackline, however you want to pronounce it, and today, uh, we've got another fucking channel. Uh, sorry about the wait of like, four days. Uh, I got lazy. And just didn't upload anything. Uh, so anyway, um, this channel goes by the name of Curious Simmer. Uh, 123,000 subscribers, so don't call on me for picking on smaller channels, because I'm like, small, so... How do I pick on a smaller channel? Anyway, uh, this channel uh, makes sim-related content. They basically do a bunch of like sim stories and stuff. Uh, I saw this. It came up in like my recommended for some reason. I don't know. Um, and their videos are like really weird. And they have these this series called uh, Birth to Death Style. And so far out of all their videos, they've only been uploading for a year, so 123,000 in a year, that's not bad. Um, but basically, uh, in that year, their birth to death videos, which, let me just say this, they're not birth to death, like, at all. They hardly go, they hardly started birth, and they rarely, you rarely get to see the sim die. Um, but basically, it shows one sim's life from birth to death. However, all the stories are very surprisingly similar for some reason. Um, so I'm gonna go through like a plot rundown of what you can expect from any of the birth to death, birth to death videos. Which, I shouldn't be able to make predictions like this from essentially watching like three of them. Um, so basically, you start off with possibly seeing your sim be born. Um, generally, it's always a female that you're following. Um, I'm yet to see a male one. Uh, yeah. I assume the creator of the channel is female and they want to relate to this character. Um, and basically, uh, everything starts off alright, um, and then they get to their sort of... Oh, and they've always got a sibling for some reason. I don't know whether it's a twin or an older or younger sibling. And so it advances a couple of years to the child stage of the sim. And you get basically the sibling or something messes up and it blames it on the main character sim. And then the main character sim gets all fucking depresso and shit. They're like a five-year-old at this point. They get all depresso and shit because their sibling blamed them for something and they got they got a punishment. And then uh, the child grows up hated by their parents. Uh, this happens in all of them. Their parents like always hate, or like a s sibling hates them. Someone in their family hates them. Um, then the main character Sim runs away. That happens in literally all of them. Um, any male character that the... <laughs> The main sim knows is instantly their boyfriend. Um, you can guess that as soon as you see them, it's like, oh, they're the boyfriend. Um, once that happens, the sim is now homeless because they've left uh, their home. Um, still has makeup on, I don't know how. Uh, one of them, they sort of went a bit homeless, but then instantly the next day they were not. Uh, then they went. Now, this is the best part of all the videos. This is the part that I find really funny. Um, just while the sim is doing some random piece of shit wherever in the world. Literally, the manager for everything fucking rocks up. This happens in all of them. There's always a manager, and it's just of something random. In one of them, it was a fucking... They literally referred to themselves as the manager for everything. They go off and become instantly rich and famous at their first gig. That happens every time, and like, all the characters in this, all the parents are fucking... They're literally the most problem parents ever, and they fucking like, bully... Literally, one of them, um, one of the, it was like a twins one, it was like the hated twin. Um, which is the one we're gonna look at today, but, um, basically, uh, the mum just had an absurd hate for the brown-haired child. Although now I'm looking at it, how did... How did a brown hair child come along? The dad has black hair and she has blonde hair. What? <laughs> How does that happen? Um, but anyway, let's cut fucking right into the video. <laughs> oh, 
Oops. Uh, is, that's a bit of a spoiler um, for the next couple of scenes. But uh, it starts off these these videos. There's no actual like dialogue. It's all done by text. So if you're into that, I guess whatever. Um, but there's always this really weird music that just plays over it. <laughs> I've probably got music playing fucking right now, but um, <laughs> I probably shouldn't speak. <laughs> No, you just didn't use protection, you fucking idiot. Oh, and it's got these really janky transitions, which I don't fucking... I don't get them. <laughs> They're kind of weird. Um, and like, all the characters just look so stiff in the transitions because they're not moving. Like, even though this is... I think what they do is they take some, like, screenshots or have The Sims pause sometimes, but then other times they just have The Sims walking for absurd amounts of fucking time. Oh, and also, uh, the husband is always, like, super supportive. There's never, like, a husband that's like, what the fuck, you're pregnant? I'm leaving you. That never happens. They're always like, oh, yeah, happy family shit. Oh, and all the fucking husband fathers look exactly the husband fathers? That's Those are two very different things. They should not be the same thing. <laughs> I hate these transitions so much, they're actually fucking terrible. <laughs> oh yeah, and they weirdly get like, no names. Like, the parents just don't have names for some reason. I guess they aren't relevant to the story, I, I suppose. Yeah, by the way, they have twins, um, and just one of the twins is there, so... I think you can already tell who's gonna be the favourite child. <laughs> Fucking look at her face. She's like... I'm two fucking minutes out of the womb and I've already been abandoned. <laughs> Fuck my life. Okay, this is the most contrived bullshit, the most contrived fucking drama I've ever seen in my life. Um, I don't even get how it happens, but basically fucking Haley. Um, I think that's her name. I don't fucking remember. Uh, Haley approaches, uh, the mother and is like, Hey, you wanna play with the dollhouse? And the mom's like, no. That's fair. Cause she's doing work. But then Hannah, the fucking blonde bitch, um, walks up and is like, Hey, you wanna play with the dollhouse? And then the mom's like, yes, sure. I don't know why she had such a change of heart and like, two seconds, why do you literally just hate one of your children for no reason? Is that even a thing that exists? Who's fucking writing this? Oh my god, this fucking scene annoyed me so much. Holy shit. Um, basically, uh, Hannah gets a fucking, uh, A in math. Alright? That and then the mum's like, alright, we'll go get ice cream. I suppose. <laughs> but fucking <laughs> Haley gets an A in English 
And the mum's like, well, English doesn't fucking matter. You already speak English. We all speak English. Get an A in something fucking important, you bitch. And you don't get ice cream either. I was like, what the fuck? Why does she hate English so much? I don't even fucking understand. Why is there just an innate hatred for Haley? Is it because she's not fucking blonde or some shit? Um... And with this part, uh, basically Haley has decided to go clubbing for a night, go home and sleep with this guy. Uh, I don't think Haley gets a boyfriend. I don't recall. Uh, but she goes home and sleeps with this fucking guy and gets pregnant, and that's what causes her to get kicked out of the house because her mum's like, "Get an abortion or you're out." It's. I don't fucking know. Who writes this shit? Who <laughs> who just sits down and's like, how should I get the child out of the house today? Ah uh, yes. Teenage pregnancy. <laughs> yeah, they don't actually show the banging part. They don't <laughs> they don't let you go see the woohoo in the bushes or some shit or wherever she fucking went. So her child's been born now, um, not important to the story, whatever the fuck its name is, might as well be called Child, um, cause it really plays no major part in this story, it's not, it's not his fucking story, fuck right off. Hey, here comes the manager for everything! <laughs> okay, so this character appears in every single one of the birth to death style videos. I think this one is actually the manager for everything. But basically, this is the character that just bails the main character out of whatever problems they're in. They just fucking walk up and it's like, hey, you look cool. Or, you look talented. Here's a... Here's a get out of jail free card. You fucked your own life over? Well, I'll fix it. Um, but yeah, <laughs> this is a component of every single fucking story, and it's the funniest fucking thing. Because it's just always some guardian angel that fucking saves the main character. Oh, we're up to this fucking shitty ass concert now. I'm not even gonna watch this, I'm probably just gonna skip over it. Like I have been with most of the video, but <laughs> this part in particular um, It's just some different music with the main character doing some fucking Heebie-jeebie dances uh, It's it's the weirdest fucking thing because I, I think the creator has it modded or something to import these dances because they're not normal game things It's just this this character has become like a recording artist. She's supposed to be a singer, but all she does is dance, because... I don't know how they'd have a character singing in a... a fucking... text-to-speech... it's not text-to-speech. Literally all the dialogue is done by its subtitles, because sims can't speak with their voice. I don't know. Uh, anyway, that's about the end of Haley's story. Uh, there's nothing else important after this other than uh, she becomes rich. In off of, This is her first show. This is her first gig, by the way. Uh, she's at this fucking well-open stage area. Don't know how many fans. We don't get to see that. Um, but yeah, that's Haley's story. She just becomes rich and buys a decent house after this for her and her son or some shit. Uh, but yeah. Thank you all for watching, uh, be sure to hit all the fucking buttons or whatever, um, and yeah, I'll catch you all later.